So I started doing a little more look at some things. Um, you can see here. This was a, a thing, I'll post a link below, but it's just a comparison between the uh, Cascadian sub subduction zone and that earthquake that hit uh, in, in Sumatra. Uh, there's a couple of slides in here I think are pretty good. I mean, it's got a few things for things that survived. The one thing that's scary about the west coast is a lot of the houses along there are, are made out of wood, and those kind of things aren't going to stand up. Okay, so sorry here. Uh, this is what I was just noting there. It's a magnitude 9. It was a subduction zone. It's about 30 kilometers deep, which is about the same depth, 10 to, 10 to 30. We sort of get off the west coast. The rupture length, 700 mile section, and our section is a, a thousand kilometers, Canadian, so it's in kilometers. Um, cause massive tsunamis, same thing would happen, happen there, and massive losses. So, when you look at the two types of the faults, this was theirs, and they had their three, three uh, plates that were all basically coming together. Ours is the same, and we do have this massive increase over the last what, 20 years? Uh, when you look at our history, that last big one that hit for um, the Pacific Coast was in the 1700s. I think we're at our 305th anniversary since the big uh, the big one that hit us, which would have been 17, what, 1705 or 1706, that uh, sent a massive tsunami to Japan. And they said there was no earthquake, and it just it wiped out quite a bit there. This is just the probability of, of being exceeded in the next 50 years. You know, there, there's big risk along along the uh, the west coast down in California, and that was the same issues that they had there. And this is just a comparison between the two. Cascadia model, um, which is what they were looking at, is yeah, we're probably going to have an 8.5 uh, minutes of shaking. Theirs lasted quite a long time. It will generate a big tsunami. Same thing there, it'll be a high consequence, long-term recovery. They say estimated uh, less than 5,000, uh, greater than 5,000 case fatalities, but that's only for Oregon, uh, they're mentioning that, and 12 billion for damage. I think this was done somewhere out of the uh, um, the Oregon state. But, uh, and that was what I was mentioning here, this next one, Sumatra quick rupture length is compared to the Cascadia zone. It, it's essentially the same same size. I just thought it was kind of a of an interesting thing. Um, one other thing, because again, I don't want to make this too long, but uh, interesting little little uh, video clip here. I'll put this link down below. It's a CBC documentary, and there's right here. There's a video you can click on. It's an hour and a half video. Unfortunately, you got to sit there between uh, listen to a couple of commercials at the start. But essentially, it talks about the fact that we are the same. Um, we're anticipated to have the same type of uh, disaster that they had there for Sumatra. Um, one thing I did like is it's not really, a, it says here, um, you know, shockwave is not another doomsday flick. And it's just, it, it's a story behind the people in science and engineering and all that who are trying to plan people so at least they know how to survive. Um, you know, because of the fact that Sumatra oceanographers, geologists, computer modelers have gained huge amount of information. Um, you know, once they crunch all that data, hopefully they'll be able to forecast a little better and uh, and be able to help us. I just want to show you the first two minutes of this. I think it's a it's an interesting one. I'll put it full screen there and hopefully you can hear this. Uh, to just quickly give you a couple secs on that, it, it is a good uh, it is a good story. Um, again, it was more the issue of uh, of the fact that um, you know when you look at uh, at the Google Earth, and it's interesting that we just had that uh, that um, tsunami drill uh, that happened from up to Alaska down to what California, quite timely. Um, not just because of Japan and all the shit that had happened over there, but again, my my little conspiracy theorists and harp and all the shit going on. Um, interesting why they've mapped this exactly. Sure, it's a fault zone, 
but there's a ton of fault zones. If you go look into, you know, out into the ocean where the uh, the two plates divide, I mean, that's a pretty cool rift as well. And they've done similar mapping, but again, that's that old mapping, slightly newer. They haven't done anything to this one. Uh, they didn't do any uh, of that high detail mapping up along Alaska where they get a ton of earthquakes regularly and nor have they done that over in the area of Japan where um, we just had the massive ones lost my map there so anyways um, let me know what you think I uh, just put this out there just to say you know hey stay safe and be prepared it's you know as much as all this sort of uh, shit going on scares the crap out of people it's also a good opportunity to learn and to uh, to prepare yourself um, as Scott and Patriot Sense and all those kind of guys um, put out there be prepared you know have yourself a bug out kit ready it's it's the ones they talk about in this uh, in that video they say you know a 20 30 meter high wave isn't out of the uh, out of the realm for something of of the Cascadia uh, major earthquake so anyways be safe everyone